Breathe out. Oh, that was the coolest deep I've ever seen. Breathe on it. I was literally just going to tell that to <laughs> Yeah. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the Kansas Angling Experience channel. My name is Brian. Uh, it's just a Monday night, night off with Danny out here. Just, uh, I don't really have any plans for a video. Um, just caught a white bass. So I thought I would start filming and making a video. We're kind of fishing a little bit of offshore structure like spot on the spot stuff. I don't even have live scope down yet because the spot is actually behind us. I'm just casting back to it. So yeah, I don't know. We'll kind of talk about that as we get more into it. But one thing I did want to announce, if you guys saw my last video, you'll have seen that I'm now part with Waterland Fishing. All my sunglasses are taken care of from now on. Um, super awesome company to work with, but the next big announcement that I have to make, something I've been waiting a super long time for, very long time coming, uh, I am now a new brand ambassador for Garmin. That shouldn't really come as a surprise to anybody, uh, seeing as how I have an entire playlist on the channel dedicated to Garmin tutorials. So I'll be doing all their IGTV stuff, uh, sharing reels and stuff, videos that you guys have seen before. So if you guys don't follow Garmin on Instagram, definitely go do that but they're gonna be hooking me up with a brand new uh garmin echo map ultra 126 i think i'm pretty sure that's gonna be the unit that i'm gonna put up front for live scope but gonna be running three total graphs once i get that uh as well as a new transducer pole that uh i've ordered that i've been waiting a long time for as well just gonna do a whole install video on that whole thing but just wanted to share that exciting news so that's really about it danny and i are just out to relax she had a long day i had a long day of getting stuff done before i get back to the guide life tomorrow. That's all I've got. So we're going to get this set up and uh, start fishing. Knew it was you. Hit it on slack line. Oh, big white. Nobody can hear what I'm saying. Great white. Choked it. Well, now that I caught a fish, I can put my other camera on. That's my rule. I'm not actually filming until I catch a fish from now on. Works every time. All right, so like I said in the intro, we're kind of set up uh, on this big high spot, but on this big high spot, there's just little tiny rock piles that are kind of almost like less than half the size of this actual boat, but I don't know how much actual rocks there's left on there after they've been all silted in, but it's definitely a hard spot and point of interest that always holds fish. So like I said before, I can also see uh, fish off in the distance, kind of out on the flats, busting bait on top, but with the other boats around, everyone's just gonna be chasing those around. I'm trying to kind of stay on these fish on my own, do my own thing, but obviously, uh, you guys have seen in my videos before, this is my go-to confidence bait. The number seven size jigging wrap, 7.3 medium light Fox River rod and a 2000 size PC fun reel. I've got discount codes for those all down below in the description. But again, I don't have live scope down right now. I'm just confident enough in these spots to get over the top of them and then cast back to them. They're not super active right now on my first couple casts. All they're really doing is just kind of smacking it with their tail or swimming by real quick. I can just feel them kind of brush the bait. So it's not really feeding time and all we're trying to do right now is just get a reaction strike out of them uh, with the jig and wrap. So we've also got a swim bait at the ready two three inch uh, hammer tail from swing in baits. You guys can get a discount on those two locally made here in town. So we're just going to see what happens. Hopefully uh, maybe a potential top water situation. Um, that'll be really fun. It's been kind of predictable this last week, but we'll see. There's uh, a lot of boats out here and I just want to stay away and do our own thing. Gotta be so, oh yeah, I think that's a wiper. You almost don't wanna pop it too hard. Is it, what is it? Uh-oh, is he gonna make us walk? Mm, he's doing white bass things, but I'm not sure. Oh, he's slowly but surely coming alive, anyway. Uh, it's like they don't want it popped too hard. You just almost kind of have to like pull it super light and then they'll come up and grab it instead of trying to smack at it so hard. Yep, it's a wiper. He's got it choked. It is indeed him. We're all by ourselves. 
Not a big one, but yeah, that bait is gone. <laughs> Why do all these fish have to choke it? We'll swing him over here. He's gonna be bleeding as well. Don't break me off, some bitch. Another one. Winner for the jig wrap just absolutely demolished it. Not a big one, but that is a nice little example. Yeah, we're just gonna get the hook out and just get him back here. Always super scary when they've got a jig wrap in their face and you have to switch hands. Oh, just came right out. So here we go, nice one, let's get him back. He will be just fine, that was so unnecessary. <laughs> Soaked! But just like the last uh, video that I put out the title, I mean, this is the ultimate bait to get inactive fish, otherwise inactive fish, pretty active. It's real aggressive, you can fish it a little bit more subtle, which is kind of how I'm having to fish it. I mean, they don't want to chase it. They're laying belly to the bottom, and yeah. Oh, there's, I can really just show you and not tell you. Oh, I hope that one wiper did not pull the school and spook them. Sometimes that happens. Nope. <laughs> I love it when that happens. This one is just a white bass. They're all just mixed in together. I'm not letting these white bass take massive poopies all over my front deck tonight. So he's gonna finish his business in the water. <laughs> I saw about a four inch turd come out of him. Little guy. School's still around. They still want it presented the same way. Yay. What do you wanna do for Den? Stuffed crust pizza. <laughs> oh God. Hey, 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 that's bottom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys can see here, got live scope down, just so I can kind of show you what I'm casting to, and it's a little bit tough, but you guys can see I've got my pole pointed this way uh, towards the back of the boat, and on the screen here, we're sitting in 18, but there's a little tiny high spot, little rock pile situation between 30 and 40 feet out, straight back this way, so... That's kind of what we're pitching at. It's almost impossible to see the fish sometimes because they're so pinned down right on the bottom, but yeah, we're casting out. Sonar is casting out uh, 90 feet right now. And even at 50, 60, we get pretty good bottom return. There's some fish sitting on the other side of the hump right there too. So definitely kind of a classic little spot where these fish would be, but it almost kind of looks like there's more fish on the other side of it than there is on the actual top of it. So. That's kind of interesting, but just gives you a good idea of how far out live scope casts and how well you can see with that, so. Dude, there are so many freaking fish around. What are you guys doing? Always on it. Oh, I got him. Oh, that was the coolest eat I've ever seen. Look, here he comes with his buddies. Here he comes. That was awesome. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it's a channel cat. <laughs> Sorry, honey. <laughs> of course, why wouldn't I live scope a channel cat fish? <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my God, the screen is loaded. What are they doing? Get mad. Oh my God. Got him. Please don't be another channel cat. It's not, he's shaking his head too much. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that one? That's a big one. That's big. You can just hand, no, I'll get it. Oh God, they're fucking loaded. Now the hope is that this other dude over there just doesn't, I can, he's staring down so hard. Don't come over here now. Thank you. Oh, he didn't like that. There we go. Got him. 
That's a big. Okay, now we're doing it vertical, all on live scope. I wish I had this rigged up to the graph up front, but I unfortunately do not. But we're gonna get back down and catch some more. Dude. Breathe on it. I was literally just gonna tell that fish, breathe on it and I will set the hook. Hold it still, dad. Dead stick. Dead stick. They want the dead stick. Oh. That's a big one. He's like not even kind of done yet. They don't want it moving. I'm trying not to like say that too long. <laughs> dead stick. That's a big one. Yeah. I actually prefer when they choke it like that because then the hooks don't get fouled up in the net. Mm. Oh. All right, well, I think we just kind of figured it out. Maybe a little late to the game, but they definitely do not want it crazy moving, even vertically. They just want it dead stick. That one just inhaled it while I was just holding it there. So let's get another one. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Nope. Such curious creatures. <laughs> the dead stick. The dead stick. This is fun. I'm having fun. That's a big one. Did it come off? <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Nose in it. Got him. Got him. Oh, that one was cool. It literally does not get any. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I think they're literally just, bre they're like just barely touching. Let's see about this guy. Figured him out, figured him out hard. Hey, how about I don't lose this one? What are the chances? What are the chances? That's big. That's big. Dad, dad, if you, if you get it in front of one, just start slowly just bringing it up. Totally gone. Dead stick. Oh, another good one, let's get him back. All right, guys, well, that is just gonna about do it for us tonight. Those fish pretty much quit. I often find that uh, when the sun goes down and they lose that light penetration that they kind of quit biting most times. But anyway, that was super fun, kind of figuring out the little sneaky dead stick presentation. That's something I do a lot in the spring and the fall when the water's cold or getting them to chase up kind of like a crappie, super, super fun. But yeah, once again, please look forward to lots of amazing content, hopefully coming uh, pretty soon. This partnership with Garmin is gonna be awesome and especially that new unit that they're gonna send me as well as the new sea light pole that I ordered for my live scope transducers content that I'm really looking forward to putting out. So again, if you guys liked any of the sunglasses, uh, rods, reels, any of that stuff, I've got discount codes down below for all those. So use those promo codes to save some money. But we're gonna try and get out of here before it gets too dark. So I will see you guys on the next video and thank you for watching.